Number 21. At 0 degrees Celsius and 1.00 atm, as much as 0 0.70 grams of O2 can dissolve in 1 liter of water. At 0 degrees Celsius and 4.00 atm, how many grams of O2 dissolved in 1 liter of water? So I guess, how many grams of O2 can be dissolved in 1 liter of H2O? Okay, so it seems like we have this type of idea where you have kind of like a before and an after, right? They give you a temperature, a pressure, a gram amount, and a volume that all go together. And then they're just switching some things up. Now it's 0 degrees Celsius for ATM, and they're asking for the number of grams of O2 dissolved in the 1 liter. Now in this case, whenever I see pressures and volumes and temperatures, and then they change, especially when I have uh, pairs, right? I have 1 ATM and then I have 4 ATMs. Um, I have liters and I have, ooh, what happened to that? I guess we'll go like that. Uh, we have liters, we have temperature, pressure, the formula that comes to my mind is this one right here. P1V1 over N1T1 equals P2V2 over N2T2. This is the combined gas law. Now, what we can do is we can just list out the, uh, the two ideas here, right? The ones stand for initials, and the twos stand for finals. Now, does it really have to be an initial on the left side, the final on the right side? It could be swapped. The idea here is that you just keep all of your amounts together on one side. Um, so you can't put like the, you know, the 0.7 grams and the 1 ATM on opposite sides because they go together. Now, always get rid of uh, units or variables that do not change. Now, in this case, they told us at 0 degrees Celsius, Da, 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 da. And then they said at zero degrees Celsius. So there was no change in the temperature. So get rid of the temps. Goodbye. Anything else that didn't change? Well, they said that we had one liter, and then we were asking again in one liter. So no change in volume. You know what's going to happen to the V's. Volume. We say, goodbye. So now you're down to just two variables. Pressure over N, right? P over P divided by N equals P divided by N. Now the pressure is in ATM. In this case, on the one side, we have, or maybe what I'll do is I'll just say, okay, now we have P1 over N1 equals P2 over N2. Now, your first pressure that they talked about was 1 ATM, so that's going to go in the P1, right, 1 ATM. And then they said, now we have 4 ATM, so the P2 is going to be 4. So now let's look at these N values. Now keep in mind that N is moles, not grams. So they first told us that I had 0 0.70 grams of O2. But I don't want grams, I want moles. So before I even use that formula, I just have to convert my grams into my moles. But how do I do that? Well, that's all the way back to the beginning of chem. Right, going from grams to moles, we always divide by the molar mass, the mm. So say molar mass. The information that's on the periodic table. Now in this case, you got two oxygens, and each oxygen on the periodic table is 16, but I have two of them, so 2 times 16 is a total of 32. So I'm just going to take my value and divide it by 32. So 0.7 divided by 32, I get, uh, I guess we'll, we'll give it a couple of decimals, 0 0.0219. So that's what I'll put over here, 0 0.0219. 
And the thing that I'm trying to solve for here is X, the new moles, because the question asks how many grams of the O2. So let's see, I have 1 divided by 0 0.0219 equals 4, or I guess I'll just put 4, 4 divided by X. Cross multiply, right, 1 times X is just X, and now we just have to do 4 times the point zero, uh, one nine. Now, we shouldn't be rounding, because this, this isn't the final answer, so I'm going to take the initial value that they gave me and times it by 4, just so that I get a more exact answer. So point zero eight seven five, And this is now of the moles of the O2. But they wanted grams. So I just have to do a quick little conversion. So 0 0.0875 moles of O2. If I want to find out the grams, and maybe what I'll do is I'll I have a little bit of room here. If I want to find out the grams of O2, now I'm going backwards. Moles 2 grams, you multiply by the molar mass. We did the math already that it was 32. So I just have to take that number and times it by 32. And I get 2.8 grams. And that is the final answer. So 2.8 grams of O2. Oh yeah. There you go. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more questions. I'm always here for you guys. We got tons of problems on the channel just for you, for all your topics that are in the chem course, okay? And I'm here every step of the way, all right? Good luck on those tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.